Another important aspect of modern devices, this is shown here for the power MOSFET, but it is important also for other devices, is the, this test that is named UIS test circuit. This uh, stays for unclamped inductive switch test. The, pros, the, uh, the important aspect is that uh, higher voltage devices will show you higher resistance and lower um, performances. Then, there is, as a consequence, there is a trend to choose uh, devices that, has a, that have a voltage rating that is as close as possible to do. To the limit uh, with not without a big margin and this means that uh, in uh, quite common conditions this device can enter in the breakdown voltage regions for a parasitic inductance for uh, noise for some reasons what happens when the device enters in the breakdown condition a weak device an old device will be destroyed immediately a modern device is a rack, as we see, will resist the breakdown voltage for a given amount of time, for a given power. How do you test the ruggedness, the strength of the device in a breakdown condition? <coughs> you run this test that is exactly the inductive load switch test without the diode. This device, the device that can, that are able to survive in these harsh conditions, I say rugged. Or you can say that these devices have large avalanche capability. The test is this one. You firstly switch on the device, like here. The VDS goes to zero. The device stays on for a quite long time. And during this time, the current in the inductor current increases. When you reach a given uh, inductor current, and uh, please note that uh, this inductor current corresponds to a given energy stored into the inductor. The device is switched off. Yeah. When you switch off the device, the first thing is that the voltage increases, we see, no? The voltage increases, increases. During the inductive load switch, at a certain point, the voltage reaches the drain voltage and the diode switches on and starts drawing the current from the device. In this case there is no diode to keep to stop the voltage rise and to drain the current. This means that this voltage here increases increases there is still no current flowing through the device the, current, the voltage increases up to the breakdown voltage. You are actually forcing your device from the on state that was, it was working here to the off state here. But the current is still constant. This means that this device will move with the voltage that increases, increases, increases up to the breakdown voltage. The device will work here with I star and in the breakdown condition with a very large voltage and a very large current on it. It is then dissipating a lot of power. The breakdown voltage stays constant at a larger voltage than VDD, the current reduces and goes to zero. The entire energy of the device, of the inductor, is dissipated on the device. The device becomes very hot, 
and it is stressed very much. The amount of energy that it can sustain is its avalanche capability, its ruggedness. Actually, in a real simulation, you would, in a real test, the breakdown voltage would, will not remain constant because the current flow increases the temperature and the temperature will increase the breakdown voltage. And what you will see is something like this. The, the, the temperature increases, then the current decreases, reducing the temperature, and you see this peak. You see the avalanche capability shown on the data sheets that will tell you which is the power, the avalanche capability of the devices. The analysis in uh, using the equation is the following. During the, the on phase, the device current, that is inductor current, will increase linearly with this derivative. Then the maximum current will be VDD divided inductance value multiplied by the on pulse. During the off state, uh, the voltage will increase up to the breakdown voltage that is larger than VDD. And the uh, current derivative will be uh, the difference between the breakdown voltage and the, and the supply voltage VDD divided L. The turnoff time is then the time needed to reach zero for the current. And the power dissipated on the, on the device will be one half ID max multiplied um, BBR. This is the power. And this is the energy, will be PD multiplied the off time. The energy dissipated during the inductive test is uh, more precisely calculated as one L I squared D max multiplied VBR minus divided VBR minus VDD. Also in this case, the avalanche capability depends on the L value, I value, VBR value, and VDD. This means that you need to know the test conditions in order to calculate the avalanche capability.